Okay, uh, in this video I'm going to briefly demonstrate the uh, blog system that we're going to be making in an upcoming tutorial series. Um, basically this is, well it's a blog, you know, I'm sure you know how blogs work, um, but there are going to be these three pages, uh, blog list which will display a full list of all the posts, uh, blog, blog post which is sort of an admin page if you like, um, where you can post a post entry, um, and blog read which is used to read a single post in full with comments. Um, this core folder is the it's going to be the similar folder structure to I, the way I always do it. Um, it's going to contain an init.inc.php file which will sort of set up the system, open the database connection um, and include the two library files which we'll be creating. Um, in this video I'm going to sort of introduce the idea of logic, good logic and content separation. Um, the reason that it's a good idea to separate your logic from your content is that it's much easier to maintain. So say if you have to come back in like a month or so and make a small database change, like rename one of the columns, no idea why you'd want to do that, but it's just say, um, if you sort of did all the HTML and PHP SQL query things sort of all combined in one, well in three files, um, you have a lot of editing to do. Um, if you do it using functions or classes, which we haven't introduced yet, so I'll just use functions for this, um, then it's much easier, easier to edit because you just call those functions and there's, as long as they return the same results then the whole system will still work if you just rename a column. Uh, so yeah, that's one of the things we're going to use or talk about in this video series. Okay, so I'll just quickly demonstrate. If I open this blog list file page, um, this will be a full list of posts. At the minute, there's only one. Uh, it tells you the number of comments and when the last comment was. Uh, it tells you the user that posted it and the date it was posted, as well as the title, uh, which is a link to read the full post. If, just, if you notice, only the first 512 characters are shown. If I just click on that, you see we get the full um, full post. Uh, and then a list of comments and this is sort of a comment box where you can um, oh, I've en added an empty comment there um, see it's just done by S and there's no comment so yeah whoops uh, but never mind you see commenting does work um, so that's that if I just go back and go to the blog post file um, give it a title uh, not sure why, but that's in my history, but never mind. Um, okay, so let's think of a quick post. I am making a test post for a YouTube video making. Okay, if I just hit add post, you see we get redirected back to the list page and the new post has been added. It tells you there have been no comments so far and you get never as the time and there's just the um, comment text. Okay, so that is pretty much how the blog is going to work. It's fairly standard stuff. Um, so, yep, join me in the next probably quite a large number of videos uh, and I'll explain how we make this.